right, Sargon. <laughs> the Smorg's powers were never ours. It is the end. So we saved him in here. Turned them back to their time. Here is Prince Hassan. The Immortals have succeeded. What's going on? History will remember you. May our paths cross again. Um, Your Majesty. Not anymore. Sargon. You brought back the Simorg, a triumph worthy of a king. I need no praise. My blades served the crown, but in Mount Kerf, they were bloodied with the truth. Oruk, Menelaus, Rajin, Anahita, Varum, all dead now. A small price to pay to secure my bloodline. Thirty years ago, King Darius was murdered. No. I'll let you confess that story. Sargon? There's something she's not telling us. King Darius! Sargon! Put her in a hot seat and let her left her to fry.
he was that bird all along. So the one that was helping him find the treasures was him. Oh, that's cool. He was the one helping him find the treasure. He was he, he was the treasure pendant. Prince of Persia and the Lost Crown. It wasn't a bad game. It wasn't a bad game. Let me turn this down a little bit. It wasn't bad at all. Um, took me a minute to get it finished because I, you know, when, when certain games catch my attention, I have a tendency to play those all the way through and then some other games kind of get left behind and this was one of those cases. But I'm glad I finished it. Um... I know a lot of people didn't like the whole Metroidvania type of style that this game was made in, but it was fun though. I liked the the, the platforming in it, even though it was kind of tedious. I still enjoyed it. You know, you felt like you accomplished something when you got past those parts. Um, the boss fights were, I want to say they were challenging, but they were fairly simple in comparison to what I'm kind of used to when it comes to boss fights like this. But it was still fun. It was a fun game. It was a fun game. Um, I kind of wish that they would uh, quit putting that fucking faded slick to the side lock hairstyle on black characters. But other than that, I mean, I really don't have no complaints like that. Like, I can't really remember one thing I disliked about this game I mean maybe because I don't know I was able to look at it as its own adventure I know some people kind of wanted it to be tied to like the past PlayStation 2 Prince of Persia games but um you know it's really its own adventure you have to take it for what it is but it's fun though it's fun you know dive into it with a clear uh with a clear conscience a clear mind and just enjoy it for what it is it's not supposed to be like past prince of persia games yeah it's a metroidvania and that seems like to be the that really seems to be like um how can i look at it how can i say it it seems to be the style that they want to make these games in these days it's kind of like when they figure out a formula that they figure works it's like they kind of like overdo it by making every game like this so that's that's something i guess people have a like a legitimate claim about but out outside of that i mean i still enjoy the game for what it is maybe because i haven't played too many metroidvanias you know like metroid prime castlevania i, I ain't really played too many of those type of games so it was a nice change of pace for me considering what i'm used to playing but that's pretty much my opinion on it. Let's do a quick scroll. Let's get uh, let's get past this. See what see if there's like an ending. You know, for the longest they gotta thank everybody. You know, the guy who made the coffee, the guy who scrubbed the toilets, the one who went and fetched everybody's lunch. You know, everybody gotta get a. You know, everybody has to get credits. Roommate Studio. But I think they did a good job with it. It was a pretty cool game. Like, they did a good job with it. I mean, I know I didn't do everything, like the side missions and all that. Didn't really have any interest in it. I just wanted to beat the main story. You know, I'm not much of a completionist like that. And I don't think I'm missing out on anything anyway. There was a couple moves and everything I didn't get, but I was able to... Uh, to max out a few of the pendants. Um, I don't think I got every amulet uh, piece to put more amulets on. Well, even with the speed, it's still, it's still, wait, is it? Oh, there we go, skip. I was gonna say. So what happened to the to the queen? She 
So he just left the. You can save your file and continue exploration of Mount Kath and resolve unsolved mysteries. I don't really care to do that. I mean, it's cool that you can. So I got 60% of the game completed. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, like I said, good game. Nothing too uh, too crazy about it. I didn't really bother to do the Ubisoft Connect because I think last time I did that, I was playing like Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And after every mission, they kept asking me like, did you like it? Did you like it? I like that community feedback, but after a while, it got annoying. But it's like, I just want to play through the game without, you know, being asked that I like this, that I like that. But all in all, cool game. I liked it. If you guys uh, enjoy Metroidvania type, type of games, or if you like Prince of Persia, Prince of Persia, check out The Lost Crown. I mean, it's a cool game. I'm pretty sure you'll like it, especially if you're into that Castlevania, Metroid Prime type of, type of style. But it was pretty cool, man. So that was it for Prince of Persia and Lost Crown. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. And I'll see you guys next time.